Mazi Inam Dekanu. He will be released. But he has to pray for his health. He has to pray. This year, the numbers of their friends that will die is going to be many. Mazi Inam Dekanu. He will be released. But he has to pray for his health. He has to pray. Even after his release. To have that where we die. The strength. Indeed, the spirit is willing. But the flesh is weak. Let's pray for him. Inam Dikanu must fight to stay alive, especially he must think about his health. Very important. The voice of the evil man will be heard sometime, some hour, in God's divine calendar, someday. Sometimes. God uses the foolish things of this earth to confirm the wisdom of the wise. Even after this election, we pray that people who are declared winner should pray that they should enjoy the arena. They should not be rushing abroad continually for medical treatment. It's very important. important you might abuse me you might insult me i receive it i'm a messenger i will still tell you what i want to tell you the seat of power of this country where with due respect to all our excellencies our presidents who have who have been president and the one there now the seat of power there is a spiritual cause on that seat there is a force i know you will tell me it's not obtainable i know you are elite but there's a cause that make men who have something to do for this country enter there and they are not able to do it it's a force The seat of power you see that place where they stay and call it the power there are a power that stays there before they come there are unforeseen power that changes and convert good intentions of good leaders it is after they live there their eyes become open and they begin to say i was supposed to do i have a, a good message again very good one but the beginning of it is bad this year the numbers of their friends that will die is going to be many because crowd crowd governments and the Biafran soldiers. These people are preparing. These people are preparing. Soon. Nothing has ever happened now. It will happen. Then after that war. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, listen to this. A conference meeting is going to be held by the World Union. And Biafra leader is there.
Nigeria government leader is there. And I saw wise people dialoguing. And the Biafra leader said no. Soon. The step that Biafra will take this year has never happened. I saw them on meeting. I'm watching them. And Biafra refused to withdraw. The alternative is to give them what they want. So, Republic of Biafra has been approved in heaven. The war we will see is not like the before. This is bush war, desert war. And Biafra will never give up. I'm sorry to say this. Nigeria force. What I'm seeing can never defeat the Biafra soldiers. So I believe we all heard what the man of God they have to say concerning Biafra as a nation and also Mazi Nandikalu. As you all know, Prophet Joshua Igila actually said something at the beginning of this video that they should pray for Mazi Nandikalu because he sees that he will be released. As you all know, his next court hearing is on the 20 something of September 2024. And everybody is praying that he's going to be released at the end of the day. The, the federal government is going to let him go. Because as you all know, the Supreme Court asked him to go. Like he should be set free. But he's still being locked up out of his will. And I don't know what the next court hearing is going to be like. Or what is going to be the situation on ground. But we pray that he's being released at the end of the day. And let's pray for his health. That is what the man of God instructs. Because that he will be set free. But his health will be a bit in balance. And you know now. So let's pray for him. And then the second man of God. I believe we heard what he has to say. Concerning the Biafran. And concerning war coming up. As you all know. I've been saying this thing that. Let's pray against war in Nigeria. Let's pray against all this crisis. We are tired. And I know that countries are going through wars that we have been watching and we have been reading about it and we have been seeing it on social media. It is not easy and it is not a force to be reckoned with. You render children fatherless, motherless, and you render husband wifeless, husband's wife, all those things. People lose their life in the process. And honestly, do you know what is it means to go through something that your loved ones are being taken away from you from that force that you know that you cannot do anything to them but that hatred builds up as the year progress you hate you don't want to hear anything about these people so let the civil war not repeat itself again let's pray against it strongly i'm not the type that will say oh i want war to happen in my country just because i want people to gain their freedom or I want people to have a country or to their self just because they don't belong, they feel as if they don't belong, they don't feel as if they are wanted by the Nigerians because as you on a couple of days ago, some videos were making rants um, when Tinibu's wife were asking that the Igbos should be chased out of Lagos so that they can inherit their property. That should tell you that that person is sick upstairs or they don't really know what they are saying because you how can you inherit somebody's property and that should even give you a heads up as evil that at least you have property that somebody is so envious of and they can't snatch it with you one on one they want you to be chased out then they can inherit it so that should tell you that you're doing something right that day they are not doing right even in their homeland you have property so i'm not saying anything to bash any ethnic group in nigeria but i'm just making these references concerning the video that i saw and what she uttered so i could actually base it on that that particular individual I don't know what he's saying so instead of generalizing majority so broad majority carries the boat a lot of them don't want the evils in their land which are the yorubas so 
let's just pray that the will of God is done in Nigeria and war is not something I pray for and based on what the man says that a lot of Biafrans are going to lose their life in the process of gaining freedom but Biafra have been signed ordained from heaven by God it's just for the federal government of Nigeria to sign it but he sees that council of world powers coming together with Biafran leaders and Nigerian leaders to finalize this thing once and for all but that there will be a war and this war is time around the Igbos which are the Biafrans are not going to surrender nor give up they are going to fight to the last drop of their blood so that is not something i wish for nor do i pray for that it should happen in nigeria but let's pray that the will of god is being carried out at the end of the day and let things go amicably let's pray against any war breakout let's pray against anything that will cause cause confusion or bring misunderstanding that will lead to something that will go out of control at the end of the day because me i don't want anything to happen to anybody and i don't want to lose loved ones in the process of this because these things are not going to affect just the nigerian government nor the clan that wants out to the point that it's going to lead to war there are some neighboring states that are around the Igbo state that are going to suffer it greatly so please let's pray let's pray for these things not to come to pass let's pray that the will of god is being carried out at the end of the day and this thing doesn't affect any family nor anybody so that is just my prayer and i keep on saying that we should not give up praying for nigeria nigeria can be good that it can contain each and every one of us so let's pray that the will of god is done like i said i believe i've said it countless time because that is how much i mean it and that is how much sincerity i'm saying it prayer is the way out at this point because war is not something you pray for war is not something you wish if you're going through it if flanny hessmen have been disturbing you in nigeria or your community my community is being disturbed by flanny hessmen each year each farming season my people can't even cultivate anymore because they are scared of your life and you need to see the injustice these people do to human beings they butcher you as if you are nama and all those things it's it's if they if they honor life somebody they are waiting if you see it you will weep honestly even in debt for that person just the way they have actually disorganized that person's body so please let's pray against war in our country in our land and nothing should go out of hand that is just what i want to share with you guys please subscribe to patreon my channel and if you're already subscribed i want to say a very big thank you and if you're not this is your first time coming across my video please subscribe and be part of this lovely family and don't forget to turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever i drop a new video and if you're a returning subscriber i want to say a very big thank you i'll see you in the next one shortly bye